I guess we can get started. I, we, I guess we're live. We're live right now. We're, we're like people can talk, actually talk to us. You know, that was behind the scenes, folks. That's what happens in the high tech <laughs> world of doing interviews. I forgot about well, that. I forgot we're completely live. Well, yeah, we're. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know where we're streaming to, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. But uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and get started then. Uh, I'll just take a break and then uh, I'll just roll into it and we'll just ask some questions. And if there's anything you want to say, we'll figure however long it goes, whether it's five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it works out to be. Um, we'll go with that. Does that work? That sounds good to me. All right. Hey, everybody. Had some time here and cornered the man himself, uh, uh, kind of cornered uh, Jay Connor here about um, his boot camps. And you probably started to hear about these. So I wanted to kind of get him on the Zoom because we can't, you know, get together right now. And actually, this is a little bit about what your whole event's about. But before we talk about your events, uh, I actually wanted to have everybody kind of maybe, you know, tell a little bit about yourself and who you are and what your background is for anybody that may have not either seen you yet or didn't catch a cash flow expo this year, which by the way, if you haven't seen that session, go back and look at it. But uh, tell us, you're welcome and tell, tell us everybody a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, thank you, Fred. I appreciate you having me on here for a few minutes. So um, I'm here in Eastern North Carolina in a really, really small town called Moorhead City, North Carolina, population only 8,000 people. And I started, uh, my wife, Carol Joy, and I started investing in single family houses back in 2003. And the first six years we were in the business from 2003 to 2009, January 2009, Fred, I relied on the local banks and mortgage companies to fund all of our deals. And I called up my banker the third week of January 2009. I had two houses under contract uh, to purchase earnest money back then that I couldn't get back. And I called up my banker to tell him about the deals. I'd had this kind of conversation many times with my banker for the first six years, told him how much money was needed to fund the deals when the closing was. My banker went silent on me, which is never a good sign. And I learned in that conversation that all my funding and lines of credit had been closed with no notice. So myself, oh, wow. along with the rest of the world real estate investors, I was cut off. Well, within two weeks of being cut off from the banks, I was introduced to this wonderful world of private money. And uh, so I put my private money program on, on uh, steroids and I was able to raise $2,150,000 in uh, wow. less than 90 days. I'm learning about private money. So since February 2009, I have missed out on a deal because I didn't have the funding. Uh, I don't do a lot of deals. I'll do two to three deals a month uh, here in our local market. Total target market's only 40,000 people, but our average profit, Fred, per deal is $67,000 per single family house. And we're doing that with a median price point of only 225,000. So obviously we have to find these very attractive deals and we have to have the funding ready to go. Right. Right. So how how has, you know, I mean, with with us all sheltered in place and, you know, I guess this is going to be a two part question. So I'm going to talk about really what what are you doing now? Because we know what you were doing before all this started. So how has this affected your business in the last, say, three, four months? And also then, you know, are you still able to do business? And then also what about going forward? I mean, what do you what are you seeing for the rest of 2020? Yeah. So uh, two part answer to how it's affected the business. As far as the private money and the funding, I actually have more funding for my deals chasing me than I did mm -hmm. prior to uh, coronavirus. I mean, people mm -hmm. have lost a lot of money in the stock market uh, and they're looking for mm -hmm. a safe place to put it. And real estate uh, has got that answer. As far as the amount of transactions we're doing, our, it's not going up. It's not going down. We're getting just as many. Actually, I'm getting a few more motivated seller leads. Mm -hmm. and it's all off market, all off market uh, for sale by owners. Um, most of the people still want us to come take a look at the house. So in our area, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're not in like total shutdown mode where we can't go to houses. However, I've got a number of students across the nation that are doing virtual showings. Uh, mm -hmm. They're using a Google a Duo app. Uh, they're using FaceTime for the virtual showings. So um, our business has not slowed down one bit. So what, I mean, 
going forward, you know, the rest of 2020, I mean, obviously everybody's worried about, you know, the economy, uh, people worried about potentially the real estate market. What do you kind of, you know, and I know there's no magic crystal ball, but we all, we all agree on one thing. And we, you and I have talked about this before. We all agree that there is an unprecedented opportunity or a rare opportunity going forward. Like every decade, every two decades, you know, when something happens, this, this much of a significant economic shift only happens once in a while. How do you see that playing out for you in the rest of the year with the potential of, you know, unemployment or, you know, what, what, uh, you know, real estate pricing may be? There's going to be a huge uh, opportunity uh, to serve a lot of people uh, in foreclosure for two reasons. Number one, uh, uh, as we know, foreclosures, uh, you know, have been shut down for a while. They put a, put a stop on that. But as my grandmother would say, Fred, all they're doing is saving up spit. That stuff ain't going away. Right. right so we've, right. Got this, we've got this buildup of foreclosures that are people that are already in foreclosure. And then on top of that, with the millions of people that have been laid off, there's going to be even mm -hmm. more people going into foreclosure because of that. So there is going to be a wave. I don't know how big, but it's going to be bigger than it's been in probably 10 years. There's going to be a wave of foreclosures coming along. And it's for that reason, it's one of those free events that we're going to talk about that I'm spending a whole day on the foreclosure business, how people can get ready to serve a lot of people and to, you know, profit as well. Yeah. Now you just you just led into my next question, which talked about you have three events coming up, three free full day boot camps. So when you told me about these, and you said you're doing these free, you know, three Fridays in a row, and I thought, okay, great. You know, what are you going to do an hour or so? And you know, these are full days, and there's no cost to go to them. So tell me a little bit about the events and what what made you even think of doing it. And certainly, I mean, there's the give back, the guy that you know donates an hour. There's another when you're talking about three full days. That that's a lot, and they're not they're not the same thing. They're three different days. That's right. So uh, the first free day. So these are three Fridays in a row: May twenty second, May 29th, and then June fifth. And they are full days, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. going to be virtual. So, you know, your people, uh, as we just said, will be able to register for free. The very first Friday on May 22nd, all that is. So all three days, Fred, are going to be framed around how to not only survive, but thrive in the midst of having to stay at home in the midst of the coronavirus mm -hmm. uh, and all that. So the first Friday is going to be focused on private money getting funding for your real estate deals, whether it's single family houses, commercial, et cetera, and how to be positioning yourself to get this funding uh, ready to go so that when the big opportunities do come right around the corner, you're going to be able to take care of it. I mean, hard money lenders by and large are shut down. Banks have tightened up even more. So private money, and that is my specialty right there, private money mm -hmm. getting funding for mm -hmm. deals that have Nothing to do with your credit, nothing to do with your verification of income, uh, et cetera. So that first Friday is focusing on that. The second uh, free Friday on May 29th, as I mentioned, I'm going to spend a whole day focusing on the foreclosure business, how to locate these opportunities to serve people before other real estate investors even know that these properties and opportunities exist, how to position yourself to not only find them, but how to have conversations with these people that are, you know, in uh, just in, in shutdown mode um, and, and how you can also get your deals funded on these deals without even having to necessarily use private money on these particular foreclosure deals. The third free Friday is going to be focused on what I call free private money, how to find free private money and get more funding uh, for your deals as well. Again, how to do this in the midst of coronavirus. And even though our country in certain areas is starting to open up and is opening up, in my opinion, we're not going to be coming out of this as far as the economy goes and et cetera for some time. So how to position yourself. Mm -hmm. These three Fridays, Fred, are for brand new real estate investors and also for seasoned real estate investors that are looking mm -hmm. for more funding for their deals and as well, how to find um, off-market deals of motivated sellers, again, in the midst of and on the other side of coronavirus. 
Well, I like it. And, and, and I want to congratulate you for, you know, giving back so much of your time. Like I said, a lot of people are, you know, doing an hour here, a webinar and stuff, and we're all doing what we can. But three, three full days for free is, is, is pretty impressive. And obviously, a lot of content, you can't, you can't have a lot of fluff when you're doing that. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty neat. I think definitely everybody, whether they, whether they're, you know, think they're in real estate, or whether they're looking at their own strategies going forward, I think everybody's gonna have a lot of takeaways from it. Uh, and that's really what it is. I mean, I, I go to a lot of these things. I watch a lot of these things because, look, if I can get just one really good idea uh, that I can implement, then it makes a difference. And if you've got three days, well, then I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have a, a notebook full at that point, though. <laughs> anyway, I want—I know you're busy. I, I just want to say thanks. I wanted everybody, you know, basically in our audience to kind of know who you were, uh, know about the opportunity, know about the three free days to attend. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we sign off here? That's it. Uh, You know, folks, if you have not gotten registered yet, you want to get registered right now because I know that uh, we will fill up. And so you want to go ahead and take advantage of it right now if you haven't already. And uh, Fred, I know that uh, you're going to be participating uh, and joining us uh, on at least one of the Fridays. Um, yeah, I think so, Tracy. I think Tracy's doing a panel. I, I think with, with you guys. Right. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, look, we've been buying notes for for over twenty years now. So uh, we see we see opportunity, and we've bought real estate before. We see opportunities on all sides of this. So we're looking forward to it. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing uh, seeing you and seeing Tracy there. And uh, thank you so much for having me on. All right. Thanks. All right.